we're just gonna make sure we have plenty of masks available for our customers so when they walk in the door, there's never a question as whether they could afford it or they forgot it. We wanna make sure everybody's taken care of. The push and push back. I'll take the fine. As Cincinnati gets masked up, ahead of Thursday when indoors, the recommendation becomes a requirement. With coronavirus cases on the rise, Cincinnati Metro has been giving away masks for free. So has the Urban League. We've dist distributed almost 25,000 already. Dorothy Smoot, the chief impact officer with the Urban League, says with the help of several grants and their community partners like the Avondale Community Council, they've been handing out masks and sanitizers since April. We've used the mass distribution to also connect with the community. If you look at the unemployment rate, if you recognize that a, a lot of people may be facing um, eviction, um, some people have to make a choice between food and masks. They're targeting hot spots in the city. Kroger is targeting customers. As of Thursday, free disposable face masks are now offered at all Kroger stores within city limits. As the grocery chain and every business in the city prepares for the mask mandate, the owner of Woods Hardware thinks it's coming a few weeks late. You know, we're going to offer them a free mask, and if they choose, then we're going to not give them the close level of service that we normally give our customers. We're going to let them be to themselves, and you know, we're not going to kick anybody out. The Cincinnati Health Department appears to be taking a similar approach approach with a goal of compliance, not confrontation. And if you're in need of a mask, you can text Urban League to 797979. That's Urban League as one word to 797979. Reporting live tonight in Quarryville, Jatera McGee, WNWT News 5. And Jatera, as far as enforcement goes, we know the health department will be in charge of this, but it's really not clear how that's all going to work. Any idea when we're going to get some of those answers? Yeah, Sheree, we're expecting a full explanation on enforcement tomorrow, actually. And Commissioner Melba Moore anticipates that they're going to be learning as they go with this one and just having to make adjustments. All right, Jatera McGee, live for us tonight. Thanks so much.